Compare box plots with different variability, 11.2c. You can check the information card or the description for 11.2a and b. We can compare box plots with greater variability where there is less overlap of the median and interquartile range, the IQR. We compare their shapes, centers, and spreads as a way to compare the data sets. The minimum or maximum value of a data set may be an outlier. An outlier is a value that is much higher or much lower compared to the other values in the set. So if our set of data is a 2, 3, 5, another 5, a 6, and then a 14, that 14 is an outlier. It's much higher than the rest of the numbers. If we have a 3, then a 16, 17, 19, 20, that 3 is the outlier. And it can be any value that is more than 1.5 times the interquartile range, either below the first quartile or above the third quartile. And an outlier doesn't affect the median, though it can have a great effect on the mean and the range of a data set. These box plots show the distribution of bags of apples sold daily by two different stores sold over the same period of time. So we have store A and store B. We can see their least value, the minimum, and we can see their greatest value, their maximums. And we can see their median values in the middle here in the blue. We can compare their shapes. Store A's box and right whiskers are longer than store B's. Look at how much longer this is than for store B. We can compare their centers, their medians. Store A's median is about a 43, and store B's median is about a 51. Store A's median is close to store B's minimum value. Look at that. Its median is close to store B's minimum value. So about 50% of store A's daily sales were less than sales on store B's worst day. We can compare their spreads. Store A has a greater spread. Its range and interquartile range are both greater than store B's. So remember, the interquartile range is the length of the box. The range goes from the minimum to maximum value. And if we compare them to store B, we can see that A is has a greater range than B, and its interquartile range is greater than B. And four of store B's key values are greater than store A's corresponding value. Store B has a greater number of sales overall. So we can see that right here, this is about a 31, and that's about a 55 for store A. And we can see this is about a 46 or 47 for store B, and that's a 65. We can see that the median is about a 42 or 43, and this one is about a 52. And remember from the previous videos, the key values are the least value, that's the minimum, the greatest value, that's the maximum, the median, and the upper and lower quartiles. We can compare the shape, center, and spread of the data for a third store, store C, with the data for store A and B. We compare the shape, store C has a shape similar to store A. Look at the whiskers. It's got a long one here and a short one here. This one's got a long one and a short one. These whiskers are almost the same for store B, aren't they? So store C has a shape similar to store A. We can compare their centers. The median for store C is greater than store A's and less than store B's. It's a little bit greater than store A, but it's less than store B. We can compare the spread, the interquartile range, is about the same for store A's 
and longer than store B's. So remember, the interquartile range is the length of the box. It's Q3 minus Q1. We can determine the variability of a box plot by computing its range and interquartile range, its IQR. If there's a little spread, then the data have less variability. If there's a great spread, then the data have more variability. We can compare the shape, center, and spread of these box plots. These are geography test scores for Class A and Class B. We can see their minimum values on the edge of these whiskers. We can see their maximum values on the edge of these whiskers. And we can see the median of the lowest, the median of the highest, and the median of all the data. Comparing shape, the position of class A is higher, and the ranges of the box plots appear to be very similar. See? If we compare their centers, the median score for class A is 10 points higher. This is a 60, that's a 70. That's 10 points higher than for class B. If we compare the spreads, the boxes show that the interquartile ranges are the same. They go about from 45 or 50 up to 80. Class A has an IQR of 30. Its interquartile range is 30. We do the third quartile, Q3, minus the first quartile, Q1. So we do 80 minus 50, and we get an IQR of 30. For class B, we do the third quartile minus the first quartile, so we do 80 minus 45, we get 35. And the range of class A is 70. It goes from 30 to 100, and 100 minus 30 is 70. And the range of class B is 70. It goes from 20 to 90, and 90 minus 20 is also 70. So Q1, that's the first quartile, is the median of the lower half of the data. Q2, the second quartile, is the median of all the data. Q3, the third quartile, is the median of the upper half of the data and each quartile represents one quarter of the data. As we said in the previous video, we can use the interquartile range to compare the spread of the data in box plots numerically by finding the difference between the upper, that's the third quartile, and lower, that's the first quartile, of one box plot compared to the upper and lower quartiles of the other box plot. And the wider the box, the greater the spread of the data around the median. And we can compare the measures of variability in the data by the sizes of the boxes and the lengths of the corresponding whiskers. To compare box plots, we can use the least and greatest values, the median, the range, and the interquartile range, the IQR. Outliers affect the range, that's from the minimum to maximum value, of box plots, but not the interquartile range. That's just the length of the box, because the range depends on the high and low values at the ends of the whiskers, while the interquartile range only depends on the upper and lower quartiles on the right and left sides of the box, quartile, the third quartile and the first quartile. So one depends on the whiskers ends, and the other one depends on the boxes ends. Now, if any of this was confusing, you may have missed 11.2a and b. And they're linked in the description, and you can watch them there. Also in the Grade 7 playlist. I hope you have a great day. Bye.